What's happening, people? Tobin here with you. Thank you for tuning on in. Appreciate it. Hope everybody had a uh, uh, a good holiday weekend and uh, look forward to uh, more things to come here in the summer uh, as we got a heat summer league going on right now. Got a little watch, a little bit of Nikola Jovich. You know, listen, he'll bounce back, I'm sure. I hope. I did want him to play like playoff Jimmy uh, in these first couple of games. You know, <laughs> see if we get up that trade value a little bit, huh? But uh, that did not come to fruition. Not the greatest from uh, old Hikola. But that's okay. Young player. Still plenty of time to bounce back. And uh, it's very strange. You know, the Heat are in like this weird holding pattern right now, right? Where it's like nothing's happening. People are freaking out. They go and they bring back Victor Oladipo. They lose P.J. Tucker, who's off partying his ass off with James Harden and Joel Embiid in the Hamptons this week. And... Like, what's going on? Nothing's happening. We're not getting any power forwards. Everybody's coming off the board. TJ Warren, he goes to the uh, the Nets. Probably going to take all the shots now that uh, Kevin Durant's not going to be there. Otto Porter Jr. is gone. Bobby Portis re-signed. What are we going to do with power forward? Who's going to be the big next to Bam? Everybody's freaking out about stuff. The thing that I find funny about it, though, is like, we'll sit here and we're asking Pat Riley, the godfather, the Don, Pat, Papa Riley, please go out there, sharpen your harpoons, be the godfather, go get orcas, and and, and go out there. Ah! You know, I'm guilty of this too. But when I'm guilty of it, and I see everybody getting crazy about, oh, the Heat have a missing spot. They don't have another big next to Bam. You know, people are getting crazy with it. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, but. You guys wanted this. Like, as Heat fans, you're supposed to want to be in the game for all the whales. You want to be at the table with the big-time players. You want to be sitting here looking for rando power forward. You guys would have been so mad if the move was we brought everybody back. We ran it back. Everybody that I have interacted with here in this circle, okay, the audience here with YouTube, the tweeters, the texters on my radio show, all that type of stuff. Anytime the idea, the three words, run it back, were brought up, everybody was freaking out. We can't run it back. Can't bring back the same team. Cannot run it back. And so now the Heat are out here, and they're in the game, seemingly, for Kevin Durant, and are one of his preferred destinations, and everybody is going mad. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. But what about the four spot? And I just, I I can't help but laugh at it because it's like, well, do you want to be in the game or do you not want to be in the game? Like, did you want to go get P.J. Tucker and lock him up to the the mid-level and hard cap yourself and that's that and you're out and that's, there's no more to be done? Or do you want to sharpen the harpoons and go big game whaling? And so all these Heat fans who are out here freaking out, oh my God, Riley's sleeping at the wheel, dude. Oh, you didn't. Oh, so you thought that the Kevin Durant deal was going to be done like that? You thought the Donovan Mitchell deal was going to be done like that? Like it's just going to be that easy? Like you don't have GMs who are going to try and get every ounce of everything they can out of there, so they don't get fired one day? Like that's ultimately what's happening here. Like what's happening in these uh, big time trades? Maybe, uh, maybe you were told this is just people making big time deals, you know, dealing superstars. But what really is happening here is. These GMs are trying not to get fired, especially Sean Marks, who's a good GM and has put good teams together. But, like, this dude is in a PR crisis right now, and he is trying to do as good as he can do in this Kevin Durant deal. And they're like, oh, every day you're getting the Woj things. Well, they're not budging off of an all-star and multiple picks and blah, blah, blah. And these damn Minnesota Timberwolves giving up 100 picks for Rudy Gobert. Idiots. I actually don't hate the idea of them getting Rudy Gobert. I think it's a... Uh, a fine move for their roster. I just, you know, Jesus. I mean, could you give more first round picks? Like, thanks. Appreciate it. Wolves really made it easy on everybody there. But I, I just find it strange that the Heat fan is in this spot where they're like, oh my God, what are we? This is just hopeless Heat fans. They just don't think that Pat Riley's ever going to get anybody. You just think that, oh, well, you can't get anybody. Uh, he's washed, he's an old man, he's... he's go- no, I think Riley is going all in for one of these two Orcas. I think he made it clear. What does he want to do? I want to finish the build. That's what he said. Still still wants to fulfill this build. And what that build is, he wants to get Jimmy Butler a ring. Brought Jimmy Butler in here. Jimmy Butler had a promise to him. He had a promise to Jimmy Butler. He said, 
in that press conference, they go, who, who does Jimmy Butler remind you of? Who does Jimmy Butler remind you of? Who's asked that by Anthony Chang? And he goes, who does he remind you of? Yeah, me. That's who he reminds me of. He wants to get Jimmy Butler a ring. And doesn't get you a, a ring with just X power forward or eighth power forward on the market. They tried it with P.J. Tucker last year. Their team is now going to be very, very old. Do you want them to run it back the same way? Do you run it back? Eh, they tried that in 2020. Didn't go so hot for them. So here they are. They're in the batter's box. They got a big-time chance at a home run cut at one of the best players in the league. And if not at him, then seemingly are making also a play for Donovan Mitchell, seeming which one of these guys will play out. And that's that. You know, like I, I just I don't understand the Heat fan who's freaking out about that. That's so strange to me. This is what you wanted, is it not? This is what you want to be, right? This is where you want to go in the game. So that's where Riley's at right now. There are some interesting things happening on social media. Boots on the gram, boots on Twitterville. One, you have a cryptic Tyler Hero tweet. Kids tell me that these are lyrics, all right, of future. And I will take their word for it. I'm not a regular future listener, but Tyler Hero appears to be. He tweeted out, the way things going, only family matters. And very interesting tweet. What could it mean? Could be something, as I say. Could be something, could be nothing. Could be he hinting that he is going to get traded. Is Tyler Hero hinting that he's not thrilled with the way the Heat extension negotiations are going? Is he just throwing out a lyric just to F with people? Who knows? This is the, this. is Let's tell you one thing about Tyler Hero. The guy has become a black belt in trade rumors. Like, you want to talk about the guy who could be the karate kid at trade rumors. Tyler Hero has been through it all, basically since uh, the first final stint when he was getting James Harden deals and Donovan Mitchell deals and now Kevin Durant deals. This guy has been thrown in every deal. Guilty. Uh, I'm obviously, you know, I love watching Tyler Hero play basketball, you know me, I love a trade machine too. I love wheeling and dealing and playing around with stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if that is truly an insight into uh, where he stands with the Miami Heat. I dev, you know, I, have I checked whether or not Tyler Hero is still following the Heat on Twitter or on Instagram? Of course, of course, you have to, uh, you have to go and and do because that's when you officially know. That's like the Debo Samuel thing in the NFL. Like when they eradicate somebody from social media or they stop following on social media that's when you know something's amiss so when i saw tyler hero tweeting that out i was like hmm, is he just having a little independence day fun was he just listening to future or was he trying to put a window into the future and say only family matters and maybe that's not his heat family maybe that's his next level family i do wonder this with tyler hero uh, but i the one thing i do wonder with tyler hero with him going elsewhere if he would be happier because we know that he wants to start and we know that he wants that role this year and I honestly like I truly believe this if Tyler Hero does come back to the Miami Heat this year if he is part of the Miami Heat I really believe he has to start I think that for him to have what do what he did last year in the regular season and take the six-man role ball out the way that he did and honestly, I feel like if he was a starter, would have made the all-star game. Because it's funny, like everybody goes out here and they're like, well, the Heat need an all-star player and the Heat, uh, or, or, or I'm sorry, with the Nets, they're like, oh, well, the Nets want an all-star player and the Nets want a big return and all this type of stuff. And I'm like, Tyler here had an all-star quality season last year. Let's not mince words here, okay? Let's not, let's not act like the guy was a bum. Yes, did not have a playoffs living up to it. Was that dealing with teams trying to take him out because they thought he was the most important part of their offense? Very much seemed like it. Um, was there a case of him saying, admittedly for him, saying he has to get stronger? Was this a case, though, of him just dealing with a run? I don't know. Obviously, the playoff uh, performance wasn't up to snuff with the regular season performance. But don't forget how good the regular season was for him and yeah that you had bam bam was out there campaign tyler hero should go to the all-star game our team uh, uh, uh the the team is out here thinking to themselves who's it gonna be he's out there saying i think tyler hero should be our representative um jimmy butler probably would prefer tyler hero went to the all-star game over him and 
really the only reason that he didn't make the all-star team is because he came off the bench and everybody has this narrative like he played against scrubs so when everybody comes out here and they say oh well you want an all-star player for Kevin Durant I really believe Tyler Hero had an all-star quality season this year you know people can laugh at that people can say what they want to because people like to take a dump on Tyler Hero whatever but in my mind what I saw last year from him in the regular season was definitely all-star quality and one of the things that was a check against him, which is stupid because he played starter minutes, led the team in shot attempts, was basically the team leader in scoring for uh, because he played uh, so many games last year or second in the team in scoring last year. Guy was all-star quality last year, and everybody's sitting here saying, Tyler Hero, what? And I just find that funny because the Heat are trying to have Tyler Hero work his way back to playing a game seven, whatever he can on his, on his legs. And like the prize of the... Phoenix Suns package is DeAndre Ayton, who's a restricted free agent that they wouldn't even offer a contract to, and also was benched in a game seven. So I don't know. I just think that's some food for thought. There's some interesting things that uh, you can chew on when it comes to this Tyler Hero in a potential Kevin Durant uh, trim. Because I think, like, it's, f- I, I almost find it insulting as a Heat fan that people are like scoffing at Tyler Hero as an asset. Like, I look at Tyler Hero, I'm like, really hurts Kevin Tyler. One of the reasons I was into Kyrie Irving and the reason I'm into the heat getting up Kyrie Irving is because I feel like Kyrie Irving can be gotten and they don't have to give up Tyler hero. And then I think there's an argument for, is there, are you better off in a series in a scenario where you can have Kyrie Irving and Tyler hero, as opposed to just Kevin Durant. I think ultimately you probably take Kevin Durant. I mean, like, come on, we're talking about this guy who was arguably the best player on the planet a year ago. Um, now everybody is like taking victory laps around him because Steph wins the ring without him and things like that. But still, Kevin Durant, you don't get a chance to trade for a Kevin Durant. Let's be real about it. Donovan Mitchell on the jazz side of things, though, he is uh, he is also cryptically posting things in a different way. He says, can't put a price on happiness while he is partying in the Hamptons uh, and and has that going on for him. So... He seems like he is also, like, is he hinting that he wants to go? Because here's the thing that's interesting. All uh, wind-horsed memes aside where they're like, oh, what's what's going on in Utah? Hmm? Before the uh, the Rudy Gobert trade goes down. Are they really going to hold on to Donovan Mitchell? Like, they have been going in this route of, oh, we got to build around him. He's our guy. All the type of stuff. They give him the Supermax. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do go in the direction of Donovan Mitchell getting moved somewhere and would going to uh, Miami make a lot of sense. Look, the tea leaves have been there forever. What else do we have to go through? You know, the, uh, the, the D Wade ties, the Bam out of bio friendship, always on the reported lists, uh, fat Joe saying he wants to go to Miami over New York, even though fat Joe denies it, even though fat Joe was taking IG photos with Donovan Mitchell this weekend. Mm-hmm. You tell me what's what when it comes to that. So he's being cryptic. But honestly, the best thing that I saw, this was the best thing that I saw on social media. Bam out of bio, across the pond, shooting threes. That was Goosey's galore, dude. That I was into. Because they were like being very, it was weird. I was like seeing Bam, who I don't know if he's doing like a bit with Jimmy Butler, but... If you guys see how Jimmy Butler posts on Instagram, right? He does it three things. What is he listening to in music? Really detailed close-up shots of food. And then like random location beauty shots, right? So Bam, he's on Instagram this week. And it's almost like he's making fun of Jimmy Butler. Or is exactly copying his patterns. Because it's like very close-up of food. Then he had a domino shot. We know that Jimmy is a big dominoes guy. Bam now playing dominoes apparently. But then he's like taking some beauty shots. I'm like, where is he? Is he he takes like a hotel shot? It's got a Canadian flag, American flag, and a UK flag. I'm like, is, is he across the pond? Is, is this guy, is he is he in the UK? And then more and more shots. He had a shot of the Queen of England that was up there on his Instagram. I was like, well, I think Bam's in England. Bam is in Mashlove. That's what he's got going on there. So he is in England. Turns out he's going to Wimbledon. But NBA UK. They were being very cryptic as well. They posted an NBA player. They're like, guess who's here? What NBA players across the pond? And it was a person shooting threes. I was like, that kind of looks like Bam. I've seen Bam shoot a lot of jump shots. I've been there 
for every home game with him warming up. I'm like, kind of looks like Bam shooting, but they wouldn't show his face. He's wearing Jordans. That was a clue. He wears the 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 the, the rubber band, so it would look like Bam. Then it was a behind the head shot of him shooting top of the three, top of the key threes. And I was like, that's definitely Bam out of bio. Recognize him anywhere. Then they put out a final tweet, and it's like, welcome to the UK, Bam. Bam shaved the threes. Bam is a mash. So he is across the pond. He is doing England things. He is going to Wimbledon. So uh, there you go. I like it. I'm going to tell you right now. Bam shooting threes in the offseason. That is pretty interesting. And I like it.